Hey, it's Congressman Eric Paulson. I hope all of you had a great week. Also, want to wish those of you that celebrated Rosh Hashanah a very happy and healthy New Year. We are going to jump right into the questions. We heard from Marlene in Dayton, who wrote in about a topic we took up in the House floor, actually. She says, please support H.J. Resolution 118, providing for congressional disapproval of the Obama administration's July 12th waiver of welfare work requirements. Sincerely, Marlene. Well, thank you, Marlene, uh, for your thoughts. And just a little background for those of you that aren't familiar. Back in 1996, a Republican Congress and a Democratic president passed historic welfare reform. A big tenant of that welfare reform was having work requirements to receive benefits so that people could become self-sufficient. And you know what? Welfare reform worked. Actually, it requires people to look for work, to prepare for work, and to receive work, uh, and to get work. And so now welfare reform, unfortunately, is under attack. And HHS, the Health and Human Services Department, issued a new rule or guidance wanting to roll back welfare work requirements. In the House, we disagreed. And we passed a resolution with bipartisan support because we've seen the success of having a 57% reduction in those who are on the welfare rolls, a 30% reduction of single women who are in poverty. It has worked. We want to keep it that way and keep work as a part of the tenets of welfare reform. And so we passed that in the House. Now the Senate will need to act as well. We also heard this week from Dayton. Uh, Douglas wrote in saying that uh, with an email saying that Current regulations on H-1B visas and those visas issued to, issued to foreign postgraduate students at American universities often force the holders to return to their home countries after they finish studying here. Many of these highly educated and highly skilled people want to stay. Instead of letting them, we send them back to work in economies that compete with us. That's nuts. We know someone like that personally. Why don't you change the immigration system so this prescient human capital can stay in America to benefit us all. It's crazy to educate someone in America and then make them leave. Well, actually, I agree. Uh, Congress and the House, we actually passed the STEMS Jobs Act this week. That will allow foreign graduates, uh, students, who are going to American universities and get a degree in computer science or mathematics or engineering to stay here in the United States, to keep the technology here, to keep the innovation here, and more importantly, keep the jobs here rather than sending them back to their home countries to compete with us. I want to thank all of you that took the time to send in your thoughts and your questions and your ideas. Keep it coming. You can reach me on Twitter or Facebook or, of course, online at paulson.house.gov. And have a great weekend.